Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a straightforward arc length problem, so that way you can understand how to set up and evaluate the arc length integral. Now, the formula is rather simple. We integrate the square root of one plus the first derivative squared. And it's worth pointing out, that is not the second derivative, but rather the first derivative squared. Now, we have everything we need for this problem to set that up. We have the equation of our curve and then over an interval of x values. Only thing we need to do is calculate a first derivative for our curve there, a first derivative of that function, and then plug everything in. So let's identify f of x as 1 plus 6 times x to the 3 halves. And to calculate the first derivative, we just need the basic power rule for derivatives. All right, differentiate the first term one, that's a number or constant, that differentiates to zero. Your factor of six stays there, apply the power rule, bring the power three halves down, and then subtract one. And you can simplify this to nine. And I'm going to write x to the one half as square root of x. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that because for myself, as well as for some of you and my students, you're more easily able to recognize a square root and a square will cancel out. So rewriting that as the square root of x just makes some of the algebraic simplifications maybe a little bit more obvious. All right, so with this first derivative, let's go ahead and simplify the inside of the square root. So we're gonna simplify one plus f prime squared. All right, so we have one plus, and we're just going to square this. And just be careful with basic exponent rules. Remember, you want to square each factor in there because you're multiplying nine by square root of x. And it looks like we're going to get nine squared is 81 and then square the square root, that cancels out to x. All right, so this is basically what is inside the square root in our arc length integral. So we have everything we need to set this up. The arc length here, this is an integral from zero to one of the square root of one plus 81x. All right, and now we just need to integrate this. Now, any time in your Calc 2 course that you see square roots in integrals, they are usually very difficult to deal with. But here, this integral, we can evaluate it with a basic or straightforward substitution. Let's try u as the inside. We'll choose u as one plus 81x. Calculate your differential du as normal. That looks like we'll get 81 dx. Notice in your integral, you're missing an extra factor of 81 for the differential. So I'll divide it over and I'll write that as one over 81 du equals dx. And for those of you that have seen other videos in my calculus two problem series and have been following along for a while, you know, whenever we do a substitution with a definite integral, I always like to change or convert the limits. So if we convert here, our original x limits from zero to one, we just plug those into our substitution, u, which we defined it for this problem as one plus 81x. And if you plug in first x as zero, that'll come out for u to one. And if you plug in x as one, Looks like you're gonna get one plus 81, 82. All right, we have everything we need to convert our integral in x to now an integral in terms of u. All right, our integral from x was from zero to one, but now our integral over u goes from one to 82. dx, we're converting that to one over 81 du. 
I'll put that factor of one over 81 in the front here. And the square root expression, just replace the inside there with your substitution, you'll get square root of u. And I'll write that as u to the one half. That way we can apply the power rule. From here, basic power rule to evaluate this integral. We have our factor of one over 81. Add one to that power, you'll get u to the three halves. Divide by the new power, divide by three halves. Same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, two thirds. And we just evaluate that now from u equals one to u equals 82. All right, and worth pointing out, if you change or convert your limits, you don't have to ever back substitute u in terms of x here. All right, if you simplify your fractions, looks like you're gonna get that to come out to two over 243, and we just evaluate that u to the three halves with u equals 82 and then subtract when u is one. So it looks like if you factor out that fraction and evaluate, you'll get u 82 to the three halves power and then plug in one u to the three halves power where u is one, that just becomes one. And that is it. This is the exact value for the arc length integral here. If your professor is looking for an approximate decimal value, this comes out approximately to 6.103. And that would just be units of length, whatever units you're using. All right, so this problem, again, was very straightforward to set up and straightforward to evaluate with a basic substitution. In general, in a Calculus 2 course, square roots are difficult to deal with, but not this problem. Hope you enjoyed this video, short and to the point. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.